NASA is taking the next step in manned spaceflight this week by looking back to the Apollo moon missions of 30 years ago. On Tuesday, if all goes well, the first test flight of a next generation launch system known as Ares-1 will blast off from the Kennedy Space Center. On top the Ares rocket will be an Apollo-like space capsule, the next manned vehicle in space. Using some old hardware and developing new systems, Ares-1 and the new capsule Orion are scheduled to replace the space shuttle within five years. Tuesday's test won't even leave the Earth's atmosphere, a simple up and down flight, but the results will show if changes are needed. I think from it being long and thin and slender, um, it'll, they optically look very strange coming across. Um, there is a, the equivalent of, of a roll program. We do roll the vehicle after we clear the pad. It's not for the reason the shuttle does it. Um, it is a reason for us to get our sensors oriented in the right uh, wind axis that we want to. And uh, so you'll see the whole, the whole vehicle turn around um, about itself and then just kind of head due east. On top of a four-stage solid rocket is a dummy fifth stage and a mock-up of the Orion space capsule. Both fake parts will be weighted to mimic flight conditions. 700 sensors will gather data from before liftoff to after splashdown, and the information gathered will help narrow any needed modification. We have about three different times during the flight where we're going to put in these, these program test inputs, and, and what that is is we're purposely going to induce some action in, in the uh, rocket nozzle and therefore get some reaction in the vehicle. And by knowing how much input we put to the nozzle and measuring what we get from the vehicle, we can understand a little bit better about the vehicle itself and how it flies. Greater in size than Apollo, with upgraded computers and capsule accommodations, Orion is designed for both short flights to resupply the space station or longer flights to the moon and beyond. On Tuesday, at 25 miles up, the first and second stage will separate and the reusable first stage will plunge back to Earth. Tom Ritchie, The Associated Press.